All right, hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make perplexity to read aloud the content that was generated. So basically, it is text to speech, also known as TTS. And just to clarify, it is different than the voice mode. It is not going to go back and forth with you. It's just reading the content that was created. So this TTS feature is available right now on the mobile app version. And there is no info or announcement for the desktop web version, but there is a workaround that you can do to enable that feature on the desktop web version. So don't worry about that. But let's talk about the mobile app version first. Now I'm going to open an Android emulator on my phone and let's go to perplexity and then you can navigate to library and open a thread that you want to enable the text to speech feature. So let's scroll down to the very end of the answer and you'll see this icon, this headphones icon. You can tap on it and it will start reading the content that was created now for some reason my android emulator is not reading the content or there's no audio at all so i don't know why it's happening but if you're doing this on the mobile app version on your android phone there should be an audio playing it's going to read the content so that's how you can do it on the android or on the mobile app version and for the desktop version it's a bit tricky although i mean it's not tricky but you have to involve a third-party tool so for a desktop app person there is no option for that there is no workaround i just couldn't find any way to enable the uh, text-to-speech feature for this version but for a desktop web version you can use a chrome extension so let's go to chrome web store and search for a chrome extension called complexity this is quite a popular chrome extension among perplexity users because it enhanced some capabilities and uis in perplexity so let's open the extension page and then click add to chrome click add extension and just wait for it to be installed on your browser and i'll show you the step-by-step -step process to enable a feature on this chrome extension that will add the text-to-speech capability on your perplexity account all right still downloading and now the extension has been installed it will open this welcome page just click next next and then maybe next again and next again and let me just click next next again next again and go to dashboard so just click i look around myself and you have to scroll down find a tool called text to speech there you go this is the one that we want to enable let's click this button and now let's go back to perplexity and let's refresh the page it's very important to refresh the page after changing the setting on the uh on the extension all right so the this answer is private you can access this page uh sorry about that uh that's not supposed to happen i guess i'm going to refresh on this page and i'm going to open this one the same thread that i shown earlier on the mobile app version and if you scroll down, you'll see this icon that says speak aloud. You can click it and it will start reading the content. Let me give you one quick demonstration. Once upon a time, in the vast velvet sky above a quiet village, there lived a little star named Luna. Okay, so if you want to change the audio, change the voice, you can right click on the icon and then select the new voice and uniquely enough this feature is not available on the mobile app version so that's something once upon that you need a time to know. in the vast velvet sky above a quiet village there lived a little star named luna all right let's stop and that's basically how you can use the text to speech feature on the mobile app version and the desktop web version of perplexity ai and that's how you can do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around